As you know, lions are known as the king of the forest. With high-level reflexes, strong instincts, and magnificent courage, no one of us has any doubt about the lion's strength and hunting ability, right? I mean, right? One. It seems like a lovely and calm day at the savannah. These fellows must have thought the same thing, so they decided to swim. Of course, it is a bit cold at the beginning, but you get used to it. They really seem to enjoy the water. But did you know that alligators can swim without moving the water? So they don't ruin the calm and safe look at it. It is really difficult to notice them. They can come closer and closer without alarm you. The alligator bite can reach over 900 kilograms of pressure. And then they have this spinning trick, which allows them to rip their hunt's flesh. Oh yeah, here we go with that move. Most of the felidae don't like to swim. That includes the lions. Maybe this is why they aren't really good at it. Look at this runaway, swimming so slow. But he's lucky that his friends keep the alligator busy by getting eaten. And finally, he made it. There you go, buddy. Two. Lions are famous with their perfect hunter senses. They can smell their hunt from kilometers away, but apparently not in that case. Our lion here had a bit of struggle to identify the object in front of her. No miss, it's not a rock or a dead body. It is a hippopotamus. It seems the hippopotamus tries to crash the lion's head like a watermelon. Wait, don't you know those videos? Here's one dying, isn't it? The hippopotamus bite can reach 126 kilograms of pressure, by the way, so this must be a difficult experience for the lion. But I'm sure she's okay. 3. Giraffes. Such beautiful and elegant creatures. Ow! That must hurt. The lions somehow are really up to the giraffes, even though to the height of them. Lions aren't famous with their jumping abilities, but they can jump up to 4 meters, which is impressive, but obviously not enough to hunt one. Did you know that a giraffe can reach 140 kilograms of pressure? There's a cruel kicker under the emotional look of them. I believe it is not pleasant to get kicked by a giraffe. They're really not an easy target. Even a crowded lion group is struggling to hunt one. But don't get upset, guys. At least you tried. 4. Hyenas aren't really the bravest animals in the jungle, especially not when they're facing a lion. That is why they attack lions only when they're crowded. But still, you see how the lion is dealing with them so good? I mean, maybe not that good, but at least good enough to survive. She can even frighten them, even though she's that outnumbered. A group of hyenas against one lion is a fight you can see very often at the jungle. If we compare a hyena and a lion, it's obvious that the lion is much, much stronger. But when it comes to a bunch of hyenas fighting one lion, of course the muscle power is on the hyena's side. I know it seems very unfair, but don't worry. Mostly the lion wins, because it's not only about strength. Courage is another important element, and even 100 hyenas can't compete with a lion when it is about courage. That shows us again why the lion is the king of the jungle. One last thing. Remember when I said, mostly the lion wins? That's not happening here right now. 5. Did you know that lions can fly? The only thing they need is a buffalo herd. What a surprise, right? Yeah, let's see this again. See the crazy moves she does in the air? So beautiful and elegant. Those pictures will definitely make her parents wall this Christmas. Look at them. A buffalo has four times the strength of an ox, and it is known that buffaloes are capable to kill lions. This case has been recorded multiple times at the wildlife. 6. Hyenas, alligators, or buffaloes aren't the only enemies of lions. Sometimes they have to deal with other members of their very own kind, mostly the male lions. It is common for male grown-ups to fight for a female or for their family. The alpha male concept is very important for the lion kind. These fights can include even bigger groups sometimes, and mostly it is pretty brutal. Lions have a bite force of only 45 kilograms, which is not really much stronger than the strongest biting dog. But still, 
it is enough to kill or harm its opponent. This little fella kind of seems to enjoy his bite, don't you think? Here we go with a group fight. It seems very unfair, actually. Four versus one? You never expect this kind of an unfair ambush from a majesty. Oh, come on, guys. We don't run a family show here. 